Sonic the Hedgehog, Jet Set Radio, Super Monkey Ball and Valkyria Chronicles. So many Sega IPs I hold close to my heart. But there was one major Sega franchise I had never really given a chance. That was until I played Yakuza 0 for PS4 and fell in love with the game. Then subsequently played through the entire franchise, becoming one of my all-time favourites. So with Yakuza's recent breakout success in the West, could we eventually be seeing the arrival of the Yakuza series for the Nintendo Switch? So many unlikely hits have made their way over already. Wolfenstein, Doom, LA Noir, and more. Could Yakuza follow suit? Yakuza has already had its attempt on Nintendo consoles with the Wii U in Japan, a re-release of Yakuza 1 and 2 HD, and to say it didn't go well was an understatement, with the producer of the Yakuza series, Sato-san, saying, to be realistic to what happened, Yakuza 1 and 2 for Wii U was a significant failure, but our goal is still to develop cross-platform as much as possible, and we know that it brings an extra audience. That allows us to attract more people. That being said, when it comes to the Switch, I'm convinced that it would not be the ideal platform on which to develop a Yakuza game. Maybe the public is not expecting that kind of game on the Switch? They may be used to different games. It may not be the ideal platform. Times have changed since the Wii U days, however. The Switch has taken the world by storm. A much larger variety of audiences now own this console. The few who owned a Wii U is no longer the main demographic who owns a Switch. And with the Yakuza series finding its newborn success in the West, it's safe to say if Yakuza were to make its way to a Nintendo console once again, and this time worldwide, a better outcome is definitely bound to happen. But how would I like to see Sega's Yakuza franchise brought to the Switch? Here are a few of my thoughts, and if you have any cool ideas, be sure to leave them in the comments section below. Yakuza 0 released in the West in 2017 and made the Yakuza series more popular than ever. Set before the entire series, this prequel introduces the main characters of the series, Kiryu Kazuma and the ever so lovely Goro Majima. Featuring a gripping story and fun and fluid combat, this is a great introduction to the criminal world of Yakuza to Nintendo Switch audiences. Released on the PS4 and most recently on PC in the West, the Japanese release also saw a PS3 release which has similar power to the Nintendo Switch hardware, showcasing a port could be possible. And if not Yakuza 0, Yakuza Kiwami is also an option, a remake of the original game from the PS2, running on the same engine from Yakuza 0. Nintendo and Sega both have a great history in recent years, with many collaborations between the two such as the Mario and Sonic series. We have also had other companies such as Ubisoft partner with Nintendo, using their IPs such as Star Fox and Mario to create brand new stories and gameplay experiences with these legendary IPs. But there's one franchise that hasn't been touched in a while, and coincidentally, Sega worked on that game in the past. Qualcomm PUNCH! While we all want ourselves a new traditional F-Zero game, I believe Captain Falcon has made a name for himself in the Smash Bros series as the ultimate brawler. Therefore, I believe a Yakuza-styled beat-up game would be a perfect fit for everyone's favourite Falcon Puncher. The dev team have already proved their worth using other IPs outside of their own. Early in 2018, Sega released Fist of the North Star Lost Paradise, a Yakuza-style game based on the Fist of the North Star anime and manga. Many praised the game for how faithful it was to its source material, while also having many Yakuza elements still intact, such as the main character being voiced by Kazuki Kitamura himself, the voice of Kyu Kazuma and with many pre-established F-Zero characters from past games and a wacky tone and set. Hey, yo, what do you want? Wait a, minute. a Captain Falcon Yakuza game would be the most logical crossover. My final idea for a Yakuza title on the Switch is for those game producers who still see the Nintendo brand as a console for party games. We're still seeing that in some way with the Nintendo Switch, with many party titles releasing throughout the year. So is there any way to translate the Yakuza series to party games? I think so. The series is known not only for its dark and engaging storytelling, but also for its goofy and over-the-top minigames. So many great side activities have made their way into the series, and fans often ask for a full-fledged game using these minigames. 
and the Nintendo Switch would be the perfect place for it. And who else to start in this wacky minigame compilation than none other than the mad dog himself, Majima. Playing such minigames as slot car racing, darts, bowling, karaoke and much more from the long running series. Multiplayer with the use of Joy-Cons could honestly spawn one of the best party games on Nintendo Switch. But what do you guys think? Do you want a Yakuza game to come to the Switch? Or couldn't you care less? Be sure to let me know in the comments section below and stay subscribed to Nintendo Lounge for our next video. Bye bye.